that's the way you want it, huh? Green Ranger versus the White Ranger. Tiger Sword! Dragon Sword! Jeez, What's up, everybody? You got your boy, the K-Locks King, a.k.a. Mr. Country, Mr. Southern Truth, whatever you feel like calling me for today. And today, this is going to be a quick little video. So today, I wanted to do my NFL predictions for the week. Week 14 in the NFL season this week. So as you've seen, we watched that crazy-ass game earlier. Well, what's today? <laughs> so I'm recording this on the Saturday. So... The other day, that Rams-Raiders game was, oh my God, that game was insane. To see Baker Chef Mayfield back in the, on the saddle again to come back and bust out that big win for him. That's a good job for them. So, <laughs> yeah, that, book, that, that game was crazy as hell. To see them come back from a 13-point deficit to make that win. All right, so check this out. So I'm going to do my picks for this week. Uh, and if y'all wondering, my team is, is on the edge as the Seahawks, but I, you know, I rock with the Bengals because, you know, you know, I stay in the Midwest. So right now, so, so anyway, let's get to it. Uh, we got the first game on the schedule here, which is the Vikings and the Lions. Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Mm, mm, mm. I got to say, that's real life tough to choose between them two teams right there. Them teams right there, that's real tough. But I'm going to slide over to the Vikings. I'm going with the Vikings for that first game. Uh, Y'all yeah, say can't go wrong with Kirk Cousins, but the Lions have been like the new Lions out this mug, though, so. Don't sleep on the Lions, though, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Lions would upset the Vikings this week. So, Ravens and Steelers, ooh, you know, them games are a dogfight every time. And I, I, I don't, yeah, hey, look, I'm, I'm surrounded by Steeler fans, so with the Steel Curtain and all that crazy mess, um, I don't even know if Lamar's playing. So if Lamar Jackson is playing, I will go with the Ravens. If he's not playing, I'm going with the Steelers. Um, yeah, so, yeah. Can't believe I'm going to choose the Steelers, but yeah, realistically, the Steelers have been looking pretty decent. They have been on the two-game winning streak. Uh... Pickens has been coming around. You know, he's getting a little better, though, as the season progress. So I'll give him his credit where his credit is due. And then you got George Pickens in the backfield. Then you got, uh, do they still got Chase Claypool? I ain't even seen him play, um, unless, I, unless I'm tripping. You know what I'm saying? So uh, for the most part, I don't know if they do or not. But, uh, hmm. I'm going to roll with the Steelers on that one. So, no Lamar Jackson. If they don't have Lamar Jackson, I'm going with the Steelers. If they got Lamar Jackson, I'm going with the Ravens. But if I'm choosing a lock, if I got to lock one down, ah! Steelers, Steelers. I'm locking with Steelers. Okay, so Browns and Bengals. <sighs> Browns has been the Bengals' kryptonite. The Bengals will be very good team. But for some reason, they've been 0-5 against the Browns the last five games. But I feel like they're gonna slide the win. So oh, and I was and I, oh yeah, and I predict scores too. So uh let's see. Lions, Vikings and Lions, I go 24-21 Vikings, Ravens, Steelers. That's going to be a dogfight defensive game. So, I'll say uh, Ravens and Steelers, I say 23-21. 23-21 Steelers. Browns and Bengals. I'm going to roll with the Bengals. Score of that game will be, 
I say 30 27 Bengals. So, yeah. That's that's my score for that game right there. So, Jets and Bills. Oh, man. Uh Jets been inconsistent for me. So, I don't know. I like the Jets too, man, cuz who's it? Mike White, that dude Mike White, the decent. They just cuz they just Zach, set Zach Wilson ass down. So, uh Let's see, uh, Jets and Bills. I'm going to go Bills with the score of... I'm going to go... I'm going to give Bills 27-24. Uh, Texans and Cowboys. But Texans are washed. So, uh, for some reason, I don't know, but I feel like the Texans are going to be... It's going to be a trap game with them against the Cowboys. No, I'll say because the dumb cowboy fan, yeah, cowboy fan, head ass. Um, nah, I'm chug. <laughs> nah, the cowboys are cool. Uh, I love Dak Prescott, and um, I mean Ezekiel Elliott is still one of my favorite running backs. And then you got a basically got a two headed monster with Zeke and uh Tony uh Pollard. So I'm gonna go Cowboys. Would it be in 27-14? So next, then we got the Eagles and Giants. Uh, let's see here. Eagles and Giants. Um, I'm going to go Eagles. I'm going to go Eagles with the score being 35-31. Um, feel like this is going to be a dog fight. 35-31 Eagles. Uh, Jaguars and Titans. <sighs> Titans been inconsistent though. They they can be a solid team, but they they they've been con inconsistent lately. So I don't know. Jaguars they 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 they'll be good one week, and then you'd be like, man, what happens on the next week? So I'm going. I'm gonna take the sleeper. And roll with the Jaguars. Jaguars pulled the upset. Uh, the score would be 1916, Jaguars. All right. So then let's see what other games we got going here. All right. Oh, Chiefs and Broncos. Ugh. Chiefs can be Chiefs. I mean, Chiefs. Broncos. <coughs> Broncos can be real good. On defense, they're real good on defense. Their offense, on the other hand, trash. The offense is washed. Well, it's the quarterback mainly, because uh, Flash Gordon can do his thing though when he can really get into it. Uh, Chiefs, they gonna want to, they gonna want that up. Uh, they gonna, they gonna want that get back right now because uh, they just lost to the Bengals last week, so. I'm going to roll with the, I'm going to roll with the Chiefs. Chiefs going to pull out the win. 21-20 uh, Chiefs. This is not going to be a real strong offensive game. Broncos is going to hold them on defense, so, but they're not going to stop them because Kel, uh, Travis Kelsey is going to at least score a touchdown. You know, Mahomes is going Mahomes, so, you know. <laughs> Uh, let's see. You got Panthers and Seahawks. Uh, uh, uh Panthers is going to come out to play today. They're going to come out to play when they play. So, um, I'm rolling with, ooh, wait. I'm going to roll with the Seahawks. Give them, not going to be too much offense for the Panthers. Not hating. But uh, I'll give it with the Seahawks. I'll give it 17-14. 17-14 Seahawks. Bucks and 49ers. Oh, boy. It's like you want to root for Tom, but you don't because, you know, everything Tom been through and stuff. And that incredible comeback, though. Man, that game. That was incredible, Brady. That made me feel like that was the Tom Brady of old. So if he's back like that, it might be a little dangerous, but 
we're going to have to see. So, because this, this game's going to really tell us if Tom still got the juice or not, though, low key. Now, don't sleep on the 49ers. You know, I've, uh, you know, I rock with Debo and George Kittle and uh, Jimmy G. So, and all them. I don't think Jimmy G playing this game, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I might be wrong, but you know what I'm saying? So, this is going to be a close game, too. I'm going to give this to uh, I, I'm gonna give Tom a chance. I'm gonna give Tom a chance because I think Tom in the Tom is back a little bit, just a little bit. So and this game's gonna tell us like, so I'm gonna say 24-23 Buccaneers. Alright, so now we got the Dolphins and Chargers. <laughs> we got the Dolphins and Chargers. Ooh, I'm rolling with Miami on this one. I like to, uh, Tua. I'm not even about to try to pronounce his name. Uh, it's a long ass name. But, you know, that's my guy, though. So, uh, I'm going to rock with the Dolphins. Dolphins got it. I'll get the Dolphins. Mm. I'll say Dolphins 24 17. Over the Chargers. And then we got the Monday night game. Patriots and Cardinals. Okay, so let's check this out here. I don't know, because uh, that boy, uh, Kyle Murray, has been uh, uh, right now. So I'm rolling with, let's see, and they, and they in Arizona too? Uh, Patriots need to, and Patriots need to win bad. So, because if they don't win, I think they have the race, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I'll check the standards here in a second. But uh, let's go. Hmm. The Cardinals need to win. Both of them need to win bad. But Cardinals at home, uh, with the Patriots. I'll say the Cardinals. <sighs> Lord, I want to say the Patriots so bad, but I feel like they're going to downplay me. So, and I'm going to be mad if I, and look, if I choose the Cardinals, watch, I'm going to fuck, mess around and fuck around and be mad because watch the Patriots start dogging them too. So, I'm going to choose the Patriots. The score is going to be... Let's see, can this be somewhat of an offensive game? It could be. So I'm going to give it 27-21. Or no, my bad, 28-21 Patriots. So, and let's check and look at the standings right now. Let's see. So, Bills, we know, because we know, let's check this out. The Bills are number one seed right now, right now. So if... So for the Bengals, for example, to be top dogs, obviously, we would need why am I saying we like I'm a full blown Bengals fan. Uh Bengals would need the Steelers to beat the Ravens, obviously. And they gotta win their game against the Browns. And the Bills gotta lose, obviously, which I doubt the Bills are gonna lose this game. But um we got some pretty, that's a pretty close race here, though, in this division. A few things can happen, I see. This division, uh, them two, my, Lord, Chiefs, y'all better, uh, wait. Then this, Lord have mercy. This here, this shit here. Let's see, then what we got here? We got the Titans ahead. Okay. Yeah, GG's. <laughs> so then let's go over here of course Eagles boy that's a close race between them three right here for real for real and there's a chance for these two the commanders out of anybody man is a, is the shock to me because they 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 were playing decent uh let's see you got 49ers Seahawks close right here so that's not too bad and got the yeah you got the Vikings and stuff. Then down here, it's crazy. Look at this division. Look at this division. 
any of these teams can still make the playoffs. That's so crazy. It's crazy. It's beyond me, though. But as you see, made my predictions for the week and everything, and we're going to see how this – we're going to hopefully have some good football this week. And that'll be it for your boy. Like, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I will set, put up my social medias also at the end probably. You know, you know how we do. And this your boy. <laughs> I ain't got no catchy catchphrase yet. Give me a couple videos. I might fuck around and uh, make up something real catchy or something, hopefully. But, you know, it's going to be something natural from the spirit. That's why I ain't come up and be like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 and no, 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 and all that. You get what I'm saying? But we're going to get it together. But as you see, I'm going to go on about my day today. And good football, folks.